Okay, we'll call this one Painting Boxes Part 2. Um, I've done this in the past where I've used a paint roller. Beats the tar <laughs> out of using the paint gun. Um, just incredible. This, I, I did it before, but I didn't do it where I stacked them up like this. Really, the key to fast painting is stacking your boxes because you can hit all four sides at the same time. That's really all there is to it. There's, there's no secret about whether you use a sprayer or a roller. Roller is certainly faster than a sprayer. Plus, with a roller, honestly, if you used good thick paint... I can maybe get away with one coat on this stuff, but uh, I'll do two just to be safe because I'll do one coat tonight one coat tomorrow. Um, so I've just got my paint roller set up here. I'm using this little narrow uh, six inch roller instead of your full 12 inch roller. And I'm gonna paint all these boxes here and all these nook boxes and those two top covers. I don't think I need to show you guys how to use a paint roller, um, unless you really want me to, but I'm not going to. Uh, but other than that, I'll just use a paintbrush just to uh, touch in each of the handles. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. So I just want to make this because I'm kind of kicking myself. I made that video so excited about how I was spraying the boxes, and that was so fast. That was so great. But really, this is way better. So I'll put this up there as, I don't know, the better way to paint boxes or something. Well, there's the finished product. Uh, my helper is screaming, of course. Uh, but she was out here with me the whole time, which is great. I just... Set her in a bumbo right there, and she she watched me most of the time, but there towards the end, once I started painting the handle, she started getting fussy real quick, so that's fine. Didn't take me long at all. Um, put a real thick coat on the handles. I'll probably just paint them once, so tomorrow I'll come out here and I will, or even possibly even later tonight maybe, come out here and put a real good heavy second coat on the main faces of the equipment, and I'll be done. That's all right, so that's it for tonight. Uh, this is the same night. It's about maybe two hours later since I just made that last little bit of the video. Uh, but these boxes were already perfectly dry. <laughs> perfectly dry. So I uh, went ahead and put on a second coat. Uh, the one thing I did want to show to you guys, if you're familiar with these or not, this little deal here is a lifesaver. It's made by Sherline. I want to say it was maybe five or ten bucks, I think. But it's a rubbery composite pour spout. And it pops right on the edge of the can here, makes it so you have no spillage. This little bit of paint that you see right there on the edge was actually from my stir stick, trying to clean my stir stick off. But that thing's well worth it. You snap it on the can, it gives you a pour spout. Everything's clean and nice and tidy. Definitely want to consider those if you're using, you know, doing any sort of uh, small volume paintings. It's really great for this because I'm only pouring out, you know, maybe a cup of paint at a time. And if you're pouring a whole bucket, just pour it in the pan. Who cares? Throw the bucket away. But for this, I really want to keep my buckets clean because I'm trying to make, you know, trying to keep a clean shop. And you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know it looking around. It's pretty messy in here. But uh, the other thing that I did with while that paint was drying, uh, I've got five deeps there, and I went ahead and assembled all the frames to put in. So I've got 50 frames nailed together, thrown in there. I didn't feel like putting together 20 more medium frames. I'm running out of time. I need to go to bed. I need to go take a shower and go to bed. 5 a.m. comes early, folks, uh, and it's after nine already. So. Anyway, um, I like this new colored paint. It's an aquamarine, something like that, but most importantly, it was $10. But that's my old colored paint, so you can see kind of the two the comparison. That was my last. I actually paid for that jug and finally got it used up. But anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, paint and bee boxes. Use a 6 inch roller and use a pour spout. Heck, there's my roller right there. Use a 6 inch roller and a pour spout, and you will be a happy person and get a lot of stuff painted real quick.